don't insult him. What is the way of insulting Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? By innovating in the deen. That's the biggest way of insulting the messenger. Why? He was sent to me and you to show me and you how Allah wants to be worshipped. That was his job. He came here to tell us about Allah and how Allah wants to be worshipped. What is it Allah wants? Halal Haram was shown, how to worship Allah was shown, and then we believe that the deen was completed and sealed, totally sealed. Whatever was in it, it was in it, and there is nothing out of it that's supposed to be in it at all. So that was his job. He asked the Sahaba in Hajjat al Wada, this is my job, have I delivered? They said, yes. He says, oh Allah, bear witness that they bear witness that I have delivered. And we come and innovate. Allahu Akbar. You know what an innovation means? It means there is one thing you forgot that the sheikh down the road knew. That's what it means. That's the meaning of innovation. How can we get paradise if we want to come up with something more than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has required? He sent the best of creation to show you how he wants to be worshipped. And we want to worship him in a way that was not there. This is why we say, you want paradise, you want everything, alhamdulillah, we described it. But this is a small explanation of how we would be insulting Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Come on, he was a Nabi. Khatam al-Anbiya, ballagh al-risalata wa adda al-amana. We believe that. He conveyed the message in the most eloquent form, in the highest form. And he definitely delivered all the goods, delivered. There are no goods that he forgot to deliver. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that love so that we can meet him in